Hello there, and welcome to this video tutorial on the new View 10 Spline Tool Editor. I'm going to walk you through a simple exercise which will demonstrate the features of this fantastic new capability. To begin, select the Spline Tool in the left toolbar icon and begin placing spline points in the scene. In this case, I'm just creating the spline over the top of a terrain. Now we're going to use the newly created spline to carve a roadbed in the terrain. I click the Terrain Effect icon, indicate which terrain to carve, and then set a road width. So let's add some road geometry to the spline by using the Spline Tool Geometry Effect. Here, I select Road as the geometry type, and then set the width. I can also load a material for the newly created road geometry. Now let's add a nice ecosystem around the road. For this example, I'm going to set up a spline-driven ecosystem using a cactus plant. You can see that when I populated the ecosystem, the whole spline was populated, which is not quite what I wanted. Instead, what I really want is to have the cactus plants follow the outside shoulder of the road. We start by duplicating the road spline we just created to use this as the eraser mask. Now we edit the spline properties to have it act as an eraser ecosystem. We then lower the width a bit to have it only erase instances along the road. Finally, we repopulate the eco and voila! We now have a nice trimmed ecosystem with the instances following naturally along the outside of the road. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this tutorial and happy viewing.